Good morning, guys. I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm excited. Today, the new studio that I'm building isn't done yet, far from being done. But today, new gear is arriving. I actually just have to pick it up from the post office. And you know how gear addicted I am. I actually need a gear doctor, but he said there is nothing he can do anymore. I'm a lost cause gear addicted 100%. Every single cent I earn, I spend on gear. And today the new main centerpiece, the most important part of the studio, like I'll show it to you. Let's, let's first just pick it up. Let's start here. So excited. So all of these four boxes are by SPL. I don't think I have to tell you anything about them. German made good audio quality. I think everyone agrees that it's like top notch stuff. Where do we start? Right. Let's start with this one right here. That's like the half of the new studio centerpiece. So this one right here is my new audio interface, my ADDA converter. It is a good one, a really good one, because that's usually the weakest link in a studio. If you have bad AD conversion, especially if you use a lot of outboard gear, and I'm intending to use quite a lot, at least for like bus summing and, and mastering. So I need something where the sound goes through back and forth and doesn't change. You can never have enough ins and outs. I got two of them. You can cascade them, like connect them and make them like one. I'm so excited. There's so much special stuff about it. Um, like this one right here, because this is actually just the AD conversion. Like those two, you can't connect to the computer. It's not possible. You need something a little extra. This little fella over here. I love it. Like good good quality. This one right here is basically the interface part of an audio interface. So we have the AD conversion separate from the interface. This one right here connects via USB to your computer. And the huge advantage is this is like a future proof system. These two right here, I will actually never have to change. They are future proof. It's an AD converter. There is not much that will change in the next coming years, but the interface part will change the connection to the computer. You never know what Apple will do next, which kind of port will go away. So let's say in five years, I want to have a new connection. I just replace this little unit, which is way more inexpensive than replacing all of this. And I can keep my setup the way it is. Also another huge selling point for me was that it's using a connection probably a lot of you haven't heard of. It's called MADI. It's an optical fiberglass connection. It's basically, I mean, you know the, the red glowing ones for consumers that you see on a lot of stuff and no one uses it. This is basically the studio version of it. I think one of these cables can transfer 128 channels, I think, or 64, like a lot for like just this is it. That's like just one cable in and out. This is like the, the studio future proof standard. It's not used by a lot yet, but I think it will take over because it just makes so much sense. And you can get these cables in really, really, really long and not lose quality, introduce any latency. And as you know, I have my vocal booth over there here in the studio and the upstairs studio doesn't have a vocal booth. So if I wanted to, and I might in the future, I just get one of these very long cables that doesn't introduce any latency and I can connect the vocal booth again to the studio, then maybe just have like a monitor, a camera to see the talent on the vocal booth. But this is, this is exactly what I need. And while we're already talking about cables, these ones right here are D sub 25 pin connectors. They split into XLR and I got one for the ins one for the outs. And then these two are D sub 25 pins on both sides, because there's there's one more unit. This one is a controversial one. Some people will say it's good, 
some will say not necessary. A lot of people I know that produce and use it swear on it. So I wanted to give it a try. At this unit right here, it just squeezes out one to maybe 2% of any single song that I make. It's definitely worth it. This one right here is the Mixstream XP. It's a smaller version. There's also a bigger version. This one right here is an analog summing device. So instead of letting the DAW sum everything, it will run through this one right here, eight channels, eight stereo channels, 16 in total. And we'll probably have the kick and the sub bass and mono and sum them together in a more analog kind of way. It's hard to explain. And the difference will probably not be like game changing, huge and big. But again, if there is a device that can squeeze out a little bit, just a tiny bit out of every single song you make, it's worth it. So I'm I'm giving this a try. Like everyone I talk to that is using it described it as having more like space in the mix and hearing things better, a wider stereo field, a 3D kind of feel. It sounded very good and I'll test it. I will actually make a full video about analog summing, comparison and all that kind of stuff and share it with you so that you know what I think of it and if it's actually worth it. But now let's, let's actually hook everything up and, and test it. It's all connected. I've already like played a little bit of sound through it. I love it. Like all of these, they blink whenever something is input, output. It sounds amazing, transparent, nothing to complain about. But again, there will be a full review soon where I test it more in detail, in depth. I need a couple of days to get used to this new system. So far, I'm loving it. it gives me so much flexibility. I can just root and logic everything to everywhere. And the mixed stream, really looking forward to actually fully test it. Let me actually show you like the, the cable mess that is going on behind here. It's crazy. So yeah, welcome to the analog world. We got the first medicine that has eight ins, so I can connect microphones or the return channel actually of the Mixstream XP. Then we got the outs, so far it just connected to it, the speakers. And then the second medicin is just connected to the Mixstream XP via these 25 sub D cables. And then the MADI connection going in here, from here to here, from here again back in there. So they were cascaded, both working as one unit. For the next couple of hours, I will read all of the manuals. I want to know every single button's details, what it does, so that I can use it to the full potential. Usually I'm not that nerdy with manuals, I just throw them away. But when it comes to audio gear, I, I actually go through it. And later I will work on the song that I showcased to you already yesterday, the one that I made with headphones at home during the weekend. I want to readjust everything here in the studio with like proper speakers and room acoustic and see how far I can get. It's been a lot of fun. I love the song. I can't wait to finish it. I'm still far, far away from finishing it. Running through the, the mix stream, the analog summing device. Yes, there is a difference. Yes, it's a slight improvement, but it's a, a very like a, a subtle one, but it's there. And I'll do like a full comparison test once I got used to it, once I actually made the first full song using it. Cause right now I'm just rooting like a song I'm already working on through it, I think. If it's on while you do the mixing decisions, sound selection decisions, you might even be able to improve it a tiny bit more. And yeah, full video about that entire analog summing topic coming up really soon. If you're interested in any of the gear that I just got today, it's all linked down below in the description. I keep you posted, updated tomorrow back to constructing the studio upstairs. Uh, today I can't show you anything. It's, it's a huge mess, but tomorrow. So definitely tune in. Thanks a lot for watching. For me, it's back to working on the song for the last couple of hours I've left today.